Household Services for Grade 7 and 8, Week 1. Our topic is Use and Maintain Cleaning Materials, Tools, and Equipment. Household services refers to the management of household affairs in a proper way, thus making a domestic house clean and maintain its high standards of cleanliness and maintenance at commercial levels. It is also known as house cleaning or housekeeping, which includes overall cleaning of the house like window cleaning, putting furniture at the right place, doing dishes, maintaining lawns, taking out all the trash from the house, and making refers to household appliance, and so forth. There are two types of housekeeping, the domestic housekeeping and institutional housekeeping. The domestic housekeeping refers to the housekeeping maintenance in the house. This covers the kitchen, bedrooms, dining, grounds, and areas surrounding the house. The institutional housekeeping refers to the housekeeping maintenance for establishments like hotels, resorts, apartments. It covers the guest rooms, halls, and corridors, offices, stairways, grounds and plants, public areas, and restaurants. The importance of housekeeping. It is not just keeping a family's house, but also a hotel and other establishment, a safe, clean, comfortable, and inviting home. Thus, a thorough, cleaned, well-maintained environment promotes a feeling of comfort and enjoyment, and nobody worries about being exposed to unsanitary conditions. Housekeeping can be a very demanding job that requires one to be patient. A housekeeper is a person employed to manage such household and other domestic staff. A housekeeping staff spends long hours on his feet sweeping, mopping, dusting, vacuuming, and cleaning of premises. In addition to cleaning tasks, a housekeeper also uses different types of cleaning tools, equipment, supplies, and materials in doing such tasks. Types and uses of cleaning tools, equipment, supplies, and materials. Today, cleaning is a very serious concern to have a well-conducive environment for living. Our home, working places, and the whole environment require serious treatment in order to give us clean atmosphere where we can easily live. The following are the types of cleaning tools that are needed in housekeeping. First is the duster. It is made of soft cotton flannel or artificial feathers. It is used for removing dust and for wiping various surfaces. Dust pan. It is made of either plastic materials or metal, which must be cleaned after use before storage. It is used to collect dust and dirt with the help of a broom. The map. It is made of thick, loosely woven cloth. It is useful tool in wiping dirt and dust from the floor. Brooms. It may be made from man-made materials like plastic or from natural materials like the soft broom or walistambo. It is made from tiger grass and the stick broom or walisting thing made from spine of dried coconut leaves. It is used in sweeping dirt and dust from the floor and other areas that needs cleaning. Toilet brush. It is used for cleaning bidet and toilet bowls. Sink brush. Used for unclogging sink. Scrub brush. Used for cleaning sturdy dirt from floors and walls. Carpet hand brush. It is an alternative for a vacuum in cleaning the carpet. Soft hand brush. It goes with the dust pan and it is used to collect dust. Long handle brush. It is a soft brush with long handles to clean hard to reach walls or it is used in scrubbing floors. Bucket or pails. It is used for holding water or detergent while cleaning. Garbage bins are available in plastic with lid to hold gathered garbage and trash while cleaning. Caddy basket. It is used to hold small tools and chemicals while cleaning. Squeegee. Used to gather water while cleaning window glasses. Spray bottles. Used to squirt, spray, or mist fluids in a dirty surfaces. 
sponge made of soft porous material absorbs water and becoming soft when wet it is used for wiping or cleaning impervious surfaces cleaning equipment it refers to any of a large class of device used for cleaning example of this is the floor scrubber or polisher it is used in scrubbing stripping and polishing hard floor surfaces vinyl and wood parquet the vacuum cleaner it is used in removing dust and small pieces of debris from the floor upholstery furnishings walls and ceilings upholstery steam cleaner it is used to clean the carpet and upholstery. It had been fitted with an upholstery wand for maximum reach when dealing with tight, hard-to-reach crevices of upholstery. High Pressure Washer It is designed to remove soil from the surface with the help of water and steam subjected to high pressure. Water under pressure dislodges the dirt from the surface. Carpet Shampoo Machine Used for a deep cleaning and stain removal, the cleaning agents are simply mixed with hot water and detergents. The detergent is injected on the carpet piles and extracted back by a wet vacuum built in the same machine. Among all the cleaning equipment listed, the most commonly used by a room attendant in cleaning are the vacuum cleaner and the floor scrubber and polisher. The cleaning supplies and materials. It refers to consumable items used in cleaning. Example of these are the liquid detergents. A detergent in liquid form used for cleaning tools and equipment. The water. It is also known as universal solvent. A liquid used for cleaning most of the tools and equipment. Cleaning detergent. Most common type of cleaning agent may be in the form of powder, liquid, gel, or crystals. A surfactant or a mixture of surfactants with cleaning properties in diluted solution that is also used in cleaning purposes, making it easy to wash it away. Paper towels, an absorbent textile made from paper instead of cloth used in drying hands, wiping windows, dusting, and cleaning up spills. Scrubbing foam, used to remove the contaminants of any tool and equipment, and you have to replace this regularly. Safety measures or precautions in cleaning tools. Household servicing is not just cleanliness. It includes keeping work areas neat and orderly, maintaining holes and floors free of slip, trip, hazards, and removing of waste materials like paper or cardboard and other fire hazards from the work areas. Safe use. Risk can vary greatly. What important is, whoever has to use any tool or piece of equipment as part of their job does so with care. To ensure safe use, employers must orient workers and provide suitable information. They must also check that workers have appropriate qualifications to use intricate tools and equipment. In addition, as part of their health and safety strategy, employers should offer orientation and training. This isn't necessary for basic items, but with certain tools and equipment change, orientation improves skills and remind users of safety procedures. Handling material is a daily function in the workplace. All too often, it is a task taken for granted with little knowledge of or attention to the consequences if done incorrectly. Here are some quick and easy tips for safety measures, precautions in cleaning tools. First, inspect your cleaning tools. Second, pick the right cleaning tool. Third, wear your personal protective equipment or PPE. Fourth, don't alter your tools handle it with care and fifth keep your workplace clean a time to remember This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.